A Texas man accused of killing five of his neighbors has now been on the run for two days. The search has been nonstop, but tonight the FBI says agents have zero leads. Still, hundreds of officers continue to look for him. His name is Francisco Oropesa. The FBI released new photos of him today. They say he has a prominent tattoo on his left forearm. Tonight, Texas Governor Greg Abbott, the FBI, and Crime Stoppers are all offering an $80,000 reward for information leading to Oropesa's arrest. Now, Oropesa was last seen in a small town about 45 minutes northeast of Houston, Cleveland, Texas. That was late Friday night. Now, investigators say he could be anywhere. Tonight, police are going door to door. Here's ABC's Jacqueline Lee. The FBI taking the lead in a massive manhunt for Francisco Oropesa, accused of a brutal massacre inside a neighbor's home. The FBI has brought in investigative resources, tactical and victim services resources to assist in this investigation. Oropesa allegedly gunned down five people, including an eight-year-old child, inside their Cleveland, Texas home in what officials say may have been a neighbor dispute. Authorities say it all started Friday night around 11.30 p.m. when neighbors approached the 39-year-old asking him to stop firing his weapon from his porch. One of the, the victims came out of the house and said, hey, we have a, a small baby that's trying to, to sleep, and the man said, I'll shoot out in my front yard do what I want to in my own residence. Police believe that's when Oropesa, who they say was intoxicated, became agitated and allegedly walked over to the house and opened fire. Police say there were a total of 10 people inside, all from Honduras. Deputies reporting two of the women found shot were each laying on a child. Those two children survived the massacre. Neighbors describe the area as a tight-knit community and are shocked by this tragedy, but they say gunfire is not uncommon. Shooting guns off when we're this close to each other with people having families, it doesn't work. We've, we've contacted the police. It sounds like a war zone in here on the weekends. Authorities believe they have the weapon used in the attack, a 223 rifle, but do not know if Oropesa is carrying a different weapon. We consider him armed and dangerous and we're not going to stop until he, we actually arrest him and put, bring him into custody. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, New York. Tonight, the city of Cleveland will hold a vigil in honor of that eight-year-old victim. He and his mother were killed. A GoFundMe account raising money to bury the victims is now online. You can find it in our coverage on WFAA.com. As the suspect remains at large, police are reminding all Texans to stay vigilant. If you know or see anything, contact police or the FBI tip line. That number is right there on your screen.